Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. So for today's video, I did a extremely rushed makeup look that you totally shouldn't do at home. And this is sort of how it turned out on limited time. So if you guys want to check tonight's video out, then go ahead and keep start. Bye. I've already got some makeup on and I don't have much time to work with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump straight in on top of my makeup. So let's go ahead and jump right in. I'm going to be using the Sample Beauty palette because it's been a while. And I really felt like digging back into this one. Last time I used this though, I'm not going to lie, the blue was kind of crappy. The theme tonight is sort of like pink and black. And um, I'm going to work with some black eyeshadow, I think going to literally dive straight into smoky this is very unlike me because normally i go for a crease shade just before but today i'm feeling kind of risky so why the hell not really interesting to see what this is actually gonna pan out and look like but I sort of know what I want it to look like in my head, whether it's going to look like that or not is a whole different story. Grab this Morphe brush, I'm just going to blend out the edges. I don't even know why I'm doing it like this, I literally have a mirror right here. Wow. Wow. Wow, Kiana, that is a... I do like how the black is blending out though. This thing I'm going to do here is maybe I'm actually gonna dive into Vino and I'm just gonna try adding a little bit. Ooh. Okay. A little bit on the out of V. Sort of blending that into the black. But like I said, this is not normally the sort of way i apply my makeup as i normally do start off with a lighter shade and then blend in with the black but for today i just really wanted to make the black most of this look so i really didn't see the point in coming in with any other shade any other cake any other shade for this look really liking that as it is so what i'm going to do next is i'm gonna grab this brush right here to go into the jojo shade here this palette actually reminds me not a lot but a little bit of the morphe and jaclyn hill palette just because of this pink right here that vino shade also reminds me of one of the the shades on the morphe palette because it's one of my favorites and i can't remember what it's called but it's absolutely lush actually dive back into the bonbon or just into the bonbon for the first time and sort of bring this lighter shade in with this darker shade here i cannot believe that i have done this on top of my makeup which is not recommended it's supposed to cleanse and tone and you know take care of your skin don't do this at home but I didn't have much time to play with. I want to play with the time that I had. And I actually wanted to just get this done without feeling like I don't have enough time to finish it off. Just blend this top lid in a little bit more. Maybe down here as well. The thing I am going to do is... I have no idea. But I'm going to actually brush off some of this excess here. Next off, I am going to come in with some translucent setting powder and I'm just going to set this underneath my eyes. Wow, that is not bright at all. I feel like I should name this video like. Next off, I'm going to be using this Glomar Contour Stick. Jesus, that is not a very... Grab this brush right here and 
really try and blend that in. Ooh, I actually really like this. Fantastic. Wow. It's actually stunning. I should probably try and actually move my hairline a little bit. I just want to put that up there. Next off, I will be using my highlighter stick from Flamar Cosmetics 2. And I will just be putting that right here. And a little bit on my nose. I'm just going to be blending that in, possibly just on my finger actually. Maybe just pressing it in because I really don't want to use the brush on there. Next off, I'm just going to finish off my eyes I'm using the iconic London mascara and I actually hated this when I first got it but now I absolutely love it. I'm just going to be using this black eyeliner to add it on my waterline. Next off, I'm going to redo my lipstick. This, I used the Cash Beauty Lip Liner. So next off, I'm going to use just a little bit more translucent powder. I'm just going to smudge my face, I guess, a little bit. Or just, you know, bake. Since it's actually gone everywhere but it's fine okay so next off i don't know i'm gonna add some more highlighter so i'm gonna be using my all-time favorite technique cosmetics highlighter and you guys might be thinking why the hell has she got a massive hole in her highlighter and that's because i actually made a body mist in summer with it and it was glowing using this shade here so next off, I'm going to be coming in with my Lottie London blush. I absolutely love this blush. And then I'm just going to smooth that out. I really want a little bit more of a pop to this. I think I'm just going to grab a little bit more of this jojo shade here just add it right here that's way better just to give the eye just a little bit of a pop i haven't gone for like any shimmers or anything like that it's so much better so next off, I'm just going to finish off doing my hair and I will be right back. This is the final look for today's video. I hope you really enjoyed this crazy rushed makeup look. This is not how I do my makeup and not how you should do your makeup, but this is how I did my makeup tonight. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will love you and leave you and see you in one of my next uploads.